All right, guys. Well, since we obviously cannot trust Joe to pick a game that isn't going to make us want to drink a potion of harming, I am going to pick the game today. Check it out, guys. This game is going to absolutely shoot your socks off. Donald, I am pretty sure that the expression is knock your socks off. Not shoot your socks off. That sounds dumb as hell, Barack. Why would it not be shoot? Shooting is better in literally every way. Tell that to the general school population, Donald. Don't go twisting my words, Joe. Let's just hop into the game already. The last thing that I need right now is to be dealing with you two idiots. Why am I being roped into this all of a sudden? This is the story of a man named Stanley. Hello, Stanley. Shut up, Joe. It's a game. Stanley worked for a company in a big building where he was employee number 427. Employee number 427's job was simple. He sat at his desk in room 427 and he pushed buttons on a keyboard. Oh, Orders that kind of sounds like me, guys. I push buttons Tell on my keyboard all the time, to too. How long to push them and in what order. This is what employee 427 did every day of every month of every year. Now that is what a good employee looks like. Keep it up like that and I might just let you have a livable wage, Stanley. As though he had been made exactly for this job. And Stanley was happy. Oh, I do love a happy ending. This game was really short though. Obviously the game isn't over yet, Joe. That was literally just the intro, you idiot. Something he would never quite forget. He had been at his desk for nearly an hour when he realized that not one single order had arrived on the monitor for him to follow. A whole hour. No one had showed up to give him oh, instructions. Oh, how did he manage? Call a meeting. I would go absolutely say, crazy if I, I didn't have anything to do for a whole hour. Never in all his years at the company had this happened. This complete isolation. Something was very clearly wrong. Shocked, frozen solid, Stanley found himself unable to move for the longest time. But as he came to his wits and regained his senses, he got up from his desk and stepped out of his office. This seems like an absolutely enormous management failure. I bet you that if All I were running this company, gone, then I would have had someone barking orders Stanley at this puny little wagey cage holdy within seconds. But there is actually no one anywhere, Donald. How could someone bark orders at us if there is literally no one here? Oh man, this is pretty creepy, I am not gonna lie. Yeah, Joe, this place is like a ghost town. I wonder where everyone could have gone to. Well, wherever they are, they'd better get back to work soon. I don't pay them to not when show Stanley up, When you Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Ooh, okay guys, we've gotta go through the left door. That is what the nice announcer guy is telling us. No way, Joe, there is no way that the big D Trump is gonna get told This was to not do. the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. From my experience, employee lounges do kind of <sighs> slap. Yes, truly a room worth admiring. It had really been worth the detour after all, just to spend a few moments here in this immaculate, beautifully constructed room. Stanley simply stood here, drinking it all in. I think that you and Mr. Announcer Guy are right, Barack. This employee lounge room is so cool. Maybe we should try and have a sleepover yes. here at some point. Really, really worth it being here in the room. A room so utterly captivating that even though all your co-workers have mysteriously vanished, here you sit looking at these chairs and some paintings. Hey, really fuck you, Mr. It. Announcer, bitch. But Let's get on with your dumb story business, already then. Stanley took the first open door on his left. Okay, Donald, how about we follow what the announcer is saying this time? Absolutely no way, Barack. You should know by now that the Big D Trump is not one to follow orders. He is the one to give the orders. Stanley was so bad at following directions, it's incredible he wasn't fired years ago. Oh, pretty please don't fire me. It was all Donald's fault, I swear. Look, Stanley, I think perhaps we've gotten off on the wrong foot here. I'm not your enemy, really, I'm not. I don't believe that for a second, you disembodied bitch. Let me out of here before I end up having to pull out some of my epic ninja moves on you. Nothing but you all this time. There's someone you've been neglecting, Stanley. That's it. Take this bitch. Pow, take that asshole. What are you going to do now? I have outplayed you in literally every way possible. I want something bad to happen to you. I don't know, man. You did kind of throw us into the middle of some kind of rapture or something. It's a bit hard to believe that you don't want something bad to happen to us. Not going to lie. Let me prove that I'm on your side. Give me a chance. Now, listen carefully. This is important. Stanley walked through the red door. Okay, come on now, guys. 
Let's give him a chance at least. Let's just go through the red door this time. Okay, Joe, fine. But just know that if we get killed, or worse, called a little oh, bitch, God, then it is all your to fault. Listen to me. Do you see that I really have wanted you to be happy all this time? The problem is all these choices. The Wait, what the hell? This corridor is just looping on here. itself. Running oh, this is some seriously trippy shit. Right Aha! Uh -huh. I Don't fucking you told you, Joe. This story? announcer guy is nothing but just, some asshole that wants us dead. Stop. And thanks would, to you, we, we are now absolutely so fucked. Much happier just wait a second, Donald. Maybe stopped. he has us here for a reason. And I think... Well, I think I have a solution. Here, let me show you. Oh, you see, Donald? I told you that we could trust Mr. Announcer. I knew all along that he was a good guy. And now we even have the proof for it. There is no way that I'm going through that door, Joe. I can guarantee you that we are going to find a near-instant death on the other side of that thing. Oh, stop being such a pansy, Donald. It's not like there is anywhere else for us to go. Hmm. What do we want? What are we looking for? Hmm? Ooh, I want some ice cream, Mr. Announcer Guy. Pretty, pretty, please. May I have some ice cream? Here. Yes. Oh, it's beautiful, isn't it? Oh, if wow. This is actually right a really here, nice scenery. Right in this moment, with this place, Stanley, I think I feel... Happy. I'm happy too, Mr. Announcer. I actually feel happy. <laughs> Don't go getting used to it, asshole. You cannot fool me. I'm getting the hell out no, of here before wait. you pull out some Where of your you bullshit going? on me. Oh, come on, Donald. What's the point in trying to fight him here? We were having a nice and romantic moment together. I'm not so sure about the whole romantic bit, but I gotta agree with Joe here. What's the point in trying to take this away from the announcer? He seems like he is on our side right now. He is just lying to you two, only I can see through this asshole's lies. I've seen them too oh, many no. times. Stay away from those stairs. If you hurt yourself, if you die, the game will reset. We'll lose all of this. Don't worry, Mr. Announcer Guy. I will not let this egotistical Oompa Loompa destroy our budding good, relationship together. Good. We can't be too safe. Promise me you won't go back there, hmm? Just, just stay here. Not a chance, you disembodied no. bastard. What do we talk about? We are getting the hell out of here before you have any chance here. to do anything to us. You hurt me before, didn't you? You will die. What about this isn't getting through to you? At least I will be going out on Please, my own no, terms. Stay, if I'm going to die, then here. it is going to Don't be by my hands alone. Me. There is no way that I'm Please letting anyone me. else Think have the glory of doing. taking down the big D Trump. No! Oh, come on, Donald. Oh. What was even the point Thank of that? God. You are just You're being an right. asshole by this point. You me worried I'm not being an moment. asshole, Joe. No. I simply refuse to let to this guy room. take the satisfaction of taking me out. The only thing that can kill the Big D Trump is the Big D Trump. Donald, you are getting really weird about this. I thought the whole reason that you didn't like this guy was because you thought that he was going to hurt you. If he has not done anything to us yet, uh, no. then why do you no, think no. that trying to get a hit the ground, Stanley, a hard chat please, message is your I'm best option? I'm asking you not to take this away from me. I can't go back to what I was before. If you die, we'll both go back. Why are you doing this? You can try and talk me down all you want, traitors, but there is no chance in hell that I am going to let this guy get the Stanley, first move. Stanley, let's go back to the other room. Can you do that for me? My God. Is this really how much you dislike my game? Yes! That you'll throw yourself from this platform over and over to be rid of it? Also, yes! You're literally willing to kill yourself to keep me from being happy. Triple yes! Am I reading the situation correctly? Oh, come on, Donald. Do you not hear how sad he sounds? He just wants us to be happy. He can suck my wrinkly balls, Joe. He's going to be as sad as can be, and that is exactly what he deserves. Or maybe you're just getting a kick out of it. I don't know anymore. I just wanted us to get along, but I guess that was too much to ask. It looks like you wanted to make a choice after all. Well, this one is yours. You are goddamn right that it is mine, asshole. This is what happens when you mess with the Big D Trump. There is no way that you can win against someone of my immense brilliance. Donald, I think that you might have some genuine problems that are being put on display right now. This is the saddest case of short guy syndrome that I have ever seen. Shut the fuck up, Barack. You are just mad because it is me that is taking control of our fate instead of you. Well, at least when we restart, we get to try a different ending. Let's just hope that Donald doesn't have another ego trip on the next one, too. Yeah, I guess that you are right, Joe. And this is what you get for trying to lead me around, you audio-only-looking motherfucker. No one tells the Big D Trump what to do. 
Geronimo! Is it over? It's going to restart, isn't it? I'm going back. And we are back in the office once again. We gotta find the best ending in this game, I gotta tell you that. Although it's quite repetitive, it's quite gone. intriguing. What could it mean? I still wonder why all his Stanley co-workers are to gone. To the like, how the room. hell would that Perhaps happen? Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Imagine if you were Stanley, then the people you know would just vanish out of nowhere. Yeah, that'd be super terrifying. When Stanley yeah, we're gonna go to the, the right door and see what it has to offer for us this time. Door on his I want to find out more about this game. Especially Mr. New Narrator. This was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. Wow. You're a million percent yes. wrong on that one narrator. Room, I don't want to follow orders from you business. anymore. Stanley I want to write my own Stanley story. Uh, I think we should listen to him. Let's go to the left door. Oh, wow. So Is this really a detour? The section, what the? Ahead I didn't even know that this room existed ever since I worked track. here. I think this just goes back to the meeting room. I want to rebel against him. He doesn't get to tell me what to do. We're going to go down that elevator, I tell you. Whoa, I think I like where this is going. We might uncover the mystery on how the hell our co-workers disappeared. I want to find out about the truth. But Stanley didn't want to go Maybe back it's to down the here. He yeah, that's right, you narrator. I am Stanley the Great now. Oh shit, now where do so we go? Oh fuck, do you back, freaking have dementia or something? Uh, Stop fucking around or I'll send my CIA agents to your way. Oh, okay, left it is then. It's going left because I am right. We're going left. on a whole new adventure. Heck yeah! Oh fuck! Oh, no. Are you freaking no, kidding me? Right, How the heck can you forget where we're supposed to go? No, 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 not the right. Why would I have ever said it was to the right? What was I thinking? It's clearly... Oh dear, would you hold on for a minute, please? This guy is literally your son or your relative Joe because he inherited no, your dumb brain and your you freaking down, dementia. Right, left, he had to open down, his notes to fucking left, remember. Right. Are you that old yep. too? Okay, okay, Just yes. shut the fuck up, Donald. I've got it now. Don't this ever talk to my relatives like that or I'll sue you. This way. Oh yeah? You finally figured it out, Mr. Narrator. Good going. Now we can progress. I kind of don't trust him. He doesn't tell us any detail on where we're going this time. This might be a trap, guys. Mr. Narrator must be onto something. No. Holy no, shit! No, what no, the hell no, is no, this? No, 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 this isn't right. What the at fuck? All. You're not supposed to be Why here. Why the hell yet? are there this so many CCTV spoiler. cameras Quick, all over the place? Your eyes. This guy is a creep. Okay, I knew it. Okay, He's Joe, okay, an undercover narrator that spies on all the employees. Who am I You're so going to get fired, Joe. It's rubbish. Does this piece out how the hell the employees disappeared? How about rather than Did the narrator himself made them all go away just to make Stanley the main character of this story? This is such a thriller. Don't wander so far off track. Hmm. Okay, from the top. I was about to solve it with my Detective Conan powers, all but that stupid narrator didn't let me. What now we have to do this all over again. Stanley huh? decided to uh, go to the meeting room. What Perhaps were we talking about again? I kind of forgot. Stupid Joe and your stupid dementia. Come on, we gotta hurry and do the wrong new choices. We're rebelling. Oh wait, why are those when doors Stanley... closed? Wait. Aha, wait, you messed what? up big time narrator. No, no, I restarted. I swear, I definitely restarted the game over, completely fresh. Everything should be... Oh, did something change? Stanley, did you change anything when we were back in that room with all the monitors? Did you move the story somewhere or... A... Hold on. Why am I asking you? I'm the one who wrote the story. Then you should know what's fucking wrong. Ago, Don't try sure and blame it on us. Somewhere. We're just trying to play your freaking okay. game. We just want to solve mysteries and unlock all the achievements we can. Let's find oh the shit! Story. Every single door just freaking opened. This narrator is playing tricks on us. He should know where the hell we should go. He's doing this on purpose. Where do we go now? We have no choice but to play along, boys. Let's just wander around the office we have and find something unusual or something good. Your gamer sense should tingle. Not that Joe has one. Hey, you orange clown, don't fucking talk shit to me. I do have the gamer sense you both have, although it happens inside my stomach, but I do have it. That's called wanting to take a shit, Joe. And if you really I'll do, then why the hell can't we find the next location? I've ever been and on. shut up, Mr. Narrator. This is your fault. You designed this, not us. Do we just... Do we need to restart the game again? Well, I find it unlikely that we'll ever progress by starting over and over again, but it's got to be better than this. Okay, let's give it a shot. Why not? There we freaking go again. He just restarted the whole thing. How many times do we fucking have to do this? this it's just an gone. endless loop with what no ending. Are you for real? Stanley decided yeah, to yeah, we heard this room. so many Perhaps times before. I have no choice but to go along with you since you restart the game every single freaking time. And what do we have here? Oh, what? Okay, yeah, Where did all the stuff worse. go? I might be remembering this wrong. It's possible the story is back where we just came from. 
Why don't we go back the other direction and see if we missed anything? I'm getting more and more dizzy the more times we play this. Just say if your game is goddamn corrupted narrator. We can help you call a gaming engineer to help you fix it. This game is like the one we played where all the uh, narrators I, clashed. I knew. I kind of forgot something. its title, though, but it is as confusing Here as a game could get. I don't even know what we are looking for. This is a game where we can't do anything and predict shit. We just have to go with the no, flow. Wait, never mind. And it seems the like the story, story is progressing. Okay, let's head back the Never other mind, way it's a fucking dead end. Our steps. Do you even know where the hell you're goddamn taking us, narrator? I feel more and more unsafe the moment you take us to somewhere unsure. Now this, this is really making well, me uncomfortable. Honest, I don't recognize Where the hell is this? Do is we this even have an attic inside a building office? So. This is so unreal, I, I don't think this recall, exists. I can't but I believe my story took place in an office building. It, is that correct? Hmm. Do you remember, Stanley? Well, do you know what? Since I've completely forgotten what we were supposed to be doing, how about this? Oh, I win. You win. Hell yeah, that's what I'm fucking talking about. I win again and Donald loses. Just like I how I won the presidency. Yipe, time to celebrate. Really I knew I could do it. Good this game job. is rigged, just like the election. Oh, yeah, no. damn right, I agree. No, I there ain't no satisfaction right in this all. win you gave we us. It's just like oxygen or something. Nothing more, nothing Some less. people win fair and square, and this was not one of those situations. Okay, I'm getting weirded out by whatever this place is. I don't care what might happen this time, I have to restart. And just like that, we are back in the goddamn right. starting place, but wait. There's this a huge sure ass arrow that points lost, to where we are I've supposed to go. Are we that dumb? We're not all Joe, you know? Just follow line. the line, he says. We are not following some stupid How ass line. That? This shit ain't gonna stop me from rebelling. This will just help me more to not go to the place we were supposed to go. Reverse psychology card has been pulled. I kind of get no, what you no, mean. I'm done. We're living it up to With the With this line guideline, we won't have trouble in knowing where's the wrong way to go. Let's not listen to him and follow the no-line areas. Oh, so that's how you guys want to play it? Okay, copy. I am good at that since I am the master of being, not you the see, master of mastering the directions. Where the story is. Let me do it for it's you. Over in this for now, let's follow oh, this. Stanley, but I kind of am curious to where this stupid nope. line guides us. Thought. Oh, over what, here? We what the fuck? Hell no, I ain't going through there. No story, We're yeah. going to take another oh, goddamn another detour. Is the story Haha, no this kind of reminds me of being a kid a back in the day. Simply being naughty. Moving oh wait, we did we just come back? What the hell is this Scooby-Doo type shit? We have to lose this line. Being Never mind him, Joe. Just keep on not following the, the line. We'll eventually end up somewhere. Okay, Stanley, I need to follow this train of thought for a minute. Just stick with me. Now, we can both agree that the nature of existence is in fact a byproduct of one subjective experience of that existence, right? Okay. Now, if my experience of your existence rests inside of your subjective experience of this office, is this office, in fact, the skeleton of my own relative experiential mental subjective construct? Okay. Whoa, 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 whoa. He has got to Hang stop on. talking or else I might fall asleep there? because of having too many well, goddamn like to information going through my head. Sure where I was going Frankly, I don't that. understand a word you he just what? said. I think yeah, I don't know where the hell he was going with that. A bit of music? music? Oh, shit. This one is way too loud. And what is up with his music taste? There's no idle elevator music, just pure chaos. This music seems like the type Joe listens to when he's on his way to bed and have a good night's rest. Shit banging for you, right, Joe? But it's actually shit. Stop talking shit about my sleeping songs. It helps me sleep 24 hours worth a day. And where the hell is this line going? I'm actually sick of following this. It's like there's no goddamn end to it. Stanley, this fern will be very important later in the story. Make sure you study it closely and remember it carefully. You won't want to miss anything. How the hell would a fern be important or even slightly Wait, relevant to the point the of this office? story? No, Ain't no way that'll no, help us. No, and what the fuck? Line, you Did this line seriously bring us back to the right? office? The story? Is any of this ringing a bell? Oh, no, 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 not again. Line, how could you have done this to us? And after we trusted you, after everything we've been through, you... Oh, I can't take this anymore. To hell with it. Restart. Mother Trucker restarted the game all over again. Now we're back from the start. How the hell you know am I supposed to go here. back there I now? I can't even remember what happened earlier. We're intelligent people, right? Why can't we make up our own story? Something exciting, daring, mysterious. Ooh, this all sounds perfectly doable. Why don't we simply start wandering in, well, I don't know. How about this direction? Off to a whole new mysterious adventure again. 
Who knows where this now, will take us this yes, time? This I don't even know exciting. if this is the right place Just to go to or Stanley not, but YOLO. New path, yeah, you know what? Story. Well, Fuck it. it. Let's do well, it. Want our story Just mind our own wild. damn business Still and let wild. narrator be super Use stressed with himself. He can't Whenever stop us from going Stanley, anywhere we want to. I'm ready for if you it. say so, guys, I'll just keep on going this way, I guess. I don't know where this is going. Oh, wait, oh, the line man, is back. Mr. Again. Line, where have you been? Stanley. Looks I'd like we have like no choice but to follow it again. Having any role in our awesome new story. No lines or monitor rooms. Just don't acknowledge it. We should be fine. Too late, Mr. Narrator. We can't deny its goddamn existence because it's already going towards where we are going to. We have no other choice but to follow it. Oh ah, no, another room. Choice. Looks like we, we have to make to another make big decision. time choice over From here. here the story I hate making decisions because that means we chose one ending than the other. But the yeah, we have no choice. In fact, I believe I need a minute to think here. Just walk in circles for a minute. Okay, so I know Walk in circles? Hell yeah, I'm an expert at this. I used to do this all the time when I don't have nothing else to do. Just leave this to me. Then Although this is really making me dizzy. Door, okay, the narrator is really in the zone right now. I don't even know what the hell he is on right now, but hopefully we are nearing the end of this game. Because I don't want to play this anymore. Origin. So starting from the right, let us ask, will taking the right door lead us to where we're going? And since the answer is clearly yes, then by all accounts, the door on the right is the correct one. Another victory for logic. Come, Stanley. Our destiny. Awaits. Oh, it really opened. Can we try this door instead? No, it's locked. Damn it. I guess we have no other choice but to enter the right room of this door. Fuck. Oh, oh, okay, no, what this? is this? Hmm. The confusion ending? Hmm. What is this wall or the board? Confusion ending. It holds the accounts no of actions we have been doing. This is That's how long we were is. already playing. It's all one Dang. giant ending. Well, we have to give it to him. It was really confusing. I guess we got the ending, although times? I am not sure that this is the one we wanted. Haha. Really <laughs> well, that was a waste of our confusing time. Determined? So now, according to the schedule, I restart again. Then what? Am I just supposed to forget? Well, what if I don't want to forget? My mind goes blank simply because it's written here on this... this... thing... wall. Well, who consulted me? Why don't I get to decide? Why don't I get a say in all of this? Is it really... No, it can't be. I actually have no clue what is going on right now. Did we freaking win, guys? I, I mean, I think so, but I just want to make sure because narrator be sounds super like confused right I now. I won't restart the game. I won't do it. I won't do it. I won't do it. And the timer to... stopped. Oh shit, what is the hell just happened? A quake? Do it? And look, we the timer the stopped counting, but the, we are still playing it. Oh shit, it something bad is going on. How would we even know? Will someone come for us? Will something happen? So... Okay... I guess now we just wait. You know, I suppose in some way that this is a kind of story. Wouldn't this was a agree? shitty story, narrator, not gonna lie. Sure if we're in the destination you took us in a whole big adventure for nothing. They're always saying that the and what's even worse, that you took us to a confusing ending. So Literally. That's where we are right now. We'll find out, won't we? Eventually. Well, in the meantime, if you do- Ah! What the hell just happened? Oh shit! Are we back from the start again? I thought we'd be able to stay there a little bit longer to All talk with Mr. Narrator. Gone. This is what making me mean? have a burnout right now. Stanley decided I don't to want to play any more goodbye. Perhaps yeah, me too. I need memory. some ice creams, bye. I guess that's it for today. Goodbye, boys. Make sure to subscribe to our channel, President Multiverse, or I will build a fucking wall around your house as well. Thanks. Donald, are you threatening people again? Shut up or I will-